Hey Villa Cubs, and welcome back to another story time with two village girls. I'm Serena, and for the month of November, we've been reading stories about being thankful and eating healthy. Today's story is called Run, Turkey, Run by Mayor Robbins. Turkey overheard Farmer Bob and his wife. We'll eat turkey this Thanksgiving, said Farmer Bob. Catch him, and I'll cook him, said Farmer Bob's wife. Turkey knew he had to act right now. What if they couldn't find him? He would need a hiding place. What if he hid in a cave? Farmer Bob wouldn't eat what he couldn't find. Turkey passed Cat. Do you know any animal that lives in a cave? Bats? A bear? Fish? Never mind. Meow, said Cat. Don't go in there. Do you know what animal it could be? Grrr, roared Bear. Who's disturbing my sleep? It's, it's me, Turkey. Can I hide here until after Thanksgiving? Asked Turkey. Turkey? I'll have you for Thanksgiving dinner, bellowed Bear. Run, Turkey, run, meowed Cat. Gobble, gobble, cried Turkey. Phew, that was close, said Turkey. Ahead was a hole in the ground. He would stay there and come out after Thanksgiving. He passed a dog. Do you know any animal that lives in a hole in the ground? A worm? A snake? A kangaroo? Never mind. Woof, woof, said dog. Don't go down there. Turkey heard hissing and slithering. What could it be? Hiss, hiss, said Snake. Who's disturbing my slumber? Can, can I hide here until after Thanksgiving? Asked Turkey. Ah, my Thanksgiving dinner, hissed Snake. Run, turkey, run, barked dog. Gobble, gobble, yelled turkey. Phew, that was close. Ahead was a hive up in a tree. He would stay there and come out after Thanksgiving. He passed donkey. Do you know any animal that lives in a hive? Butterflies? Bees? Goats? Never mind. Hee-haw, said Donkey. Don't go up there. Turkey heard buzzing and whining. What could it be? Buzz, buzz, said Queen Bee. Who's invading our colony? No, I need a place to hide until after Thanksgiving, pleaded Turkey. Get him. He's after our honey droned Queen Bee. Run, turkey, run, brayed Donkey. Gobble, gobble, grumbled Turkey. Phew, that was close. Ahead was a forest. He would stay there and come out after Thanksgiving. He passed Parrot. Do you know any animals that live in a forest? A wild pig? A mountain lion? A whale? Never mind. Squawk, squawk, said Parrot. Don't go in there, don't go in there. Turkey heard purring, clatter of feet. Who, what could it be? Grrr, grrr rumbled Mountain Lion. Who scared away my Thanksgiving dinner? Can I hide here until... Turkey lost his voice. My new Thanksgiving dinner? Roared Mountain Lion. Frap! Went Turkey. Run, Turkey, run! Squawked Parrot. Gobble, gobble! Screamed Turkey. It seemed like turkey would end up as Thanksgiving's main dish. He scrambled back to the barn. 
He would hide there and come out after Thanksgiving. Farmer Bob and his wife walked into the barn. Turkey, 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 said Farmer Bob. You can run, but you can't hide. Check the haystack, said Farmer Bob's wife. We must have turkey for Thanksgiving's dinner. Oh no, turkey was doomed. He'll be plucked and roasted. Farmer Bob removed some hay. There he is. Turkey let it rip, brap, and ran. Turkey was cornered, dazed. All was lost. He let out one last toot, blat. Oh, that smell, groaned Farmer Bob. Wait, what's that shiny thing on the floor? It's gold, cried Farmer Bob's wife. The turkey pooped out gold. We're rich. And so the golden poop started the California gold rush. Farmer Bob pardoned Turkey. His wife prepared a delicious Thanksgiving dinner. Happy Thanksgiving to you, Turkey, said Farmer Bob. You saved the day, said Farmer Bob's wife. It was Turkey's best Thanksgiving ever. The end. Thanks for tuning in again to another story time with two village girls. I'm Serena, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.